closed down. Much of the £3.5 million they'd been paid has not been recovered, and the company's directors can't be found. Sharon Webb was one of 65,000 people who paid money to Holidays Direct, but with less than 200 actually getting holidays, it really was an offer that was too good to be true. Dave Harper, East Midlands Today, Leicestershire. A young soldier from Spalding in Lincolnshire has died while taking part in a military training exercise in Oman. The Ministry of Defence said the 18-year-old signaller, Bob Gratton, died after a road accident involving three military vehicles. Mr Gratton was among 20,000 armed forces personnel who are currently out in the Gulf taking part in a war exercise. His family said today that the army was their son's life and they were very proud of him. The MOD said it would be carrying out a full investigation. It's been revealed that terminally ill children and their families are missing out on hospice care. Rainbows in Loughborough fears dozens of youngsters don't hear about the centre until it's almost too late. Our correspondent Sally Bowman has spent the day there meeting families who are Rainbows regulars. Hi, my name's David. I've been coming to Rainbows for six years and I'd like to show you around. David's a member of the 130 families who visit Rainbows in Loughborough, Leicestershire every year. This is the computer room and I spend a lot of time in here. What I like about coming to Rainbows is the uh, friendly staff and the atmosphere is just... I just love it and every time I know, when I know my dates I just can't wait to come. People are confused about children's hospices. There are just 25 of them nationwide, all in the voluntary sector and all registered charities so they're not part of the NHS. While it has a high profile in Leicestershire, Rainbows serves the entire Trent region and has problems reaching every family who needs them, sometimes until it's almost too late. Many, many parents are put off by the word hospice. They, they are very frightened by the term hospice because they associate it with um, adult hospices. Um, but children's hospices, as you can see, are incredibly different. And children here are just normal children doing normal everyday things. For the most of the children that come here, they come here for many, many years uh, and receive respite care and support for their families. For the people who come here, the hospice offers a home away from home with uh, five-star trimmings. The only thing that's remotely depressing is if there are families out there who we're missing out on what Rainbows has to offer. Sally Bowman, East Midlands Today, Loughborough, Leicestershire. A drink driver jailed for running down and killing two students is to appeal against his sentence. Gusharan Singh Panasar was jailed for seven and a half years in April after he admitted killing Robert Bradley and Alexandra Vida. They were walking home from an end of term party at Nottingham Trent University last December. Panasar had been driving the wrong way down a one-way street when he hit them. Pilots are offering to work part-time to try to save jobs at Castle Donington-based BMI British Midland. The airline had been planning to axe up to 100 pilots' jobs as part of plans to reduce the total workforce by 600. It's the first time pilots here have offered to cut their hours to save jobs. A young mum has won a groundbreaking case to be rehoused away from her violent boyfriend. The Court of Appeals ordered Leicester City Council to find Sinead Bond, who's 22, a home and pick up tens of thousands of pounds in legal costs. Sinead Bond and her new baby have a brighter future ahead of them after her Court of Appeal victory over Leicester City Council. She was driven from her home in July 1999 after suffering domestic violence from her then boyfriend. She asked the council for a new home but was turned down because they said she was intentionally homeless. Sinead was determined to fight on. I didn't have no other way to turn really because I couldn't afford to go private. Nobody else was rehousing me so I had no choice but to just keep on going with it and hope for the best. Sinead's campaign against the City Council started when she went to the charity Shelter for legal support. She took the council to Leicester County Court but lost. The Court of Appeal has now overturned that decision. It appears to be the first time that anybody has ever asked the Court of Appeal or a higher court to rule on the exact meaning of this particular provision in the 1996 Housing Act. I do not know why this is, but the Court of Appeal recognised that it was the first time it had been asked to decide upon the wording and gave a very clear ruling on the result. I'm just happy and I hope other people can benefit from what I've done. Leicester City Council says it's disappointed with the Court of Appeal's ruling. It fears the decision could now mean it has to find accommodation for people who deliberately make themselves homeless. But for Sinead, it means her family will now be classed as a priority case and she'll be rehoused at last. Mel Coles, East Midlands Today.
quick look now at the weather. Any remaining showers will die out tonight, leaving clear spells. Tomorrow will be dry with a little brightness later on. That's it. Back now to Michael Burke. And the main news again tonight, the army has begun demolishing observation bases near the border with the Irish Republic in response to the IRA's move to put some of its weapons beyond use. Two bases are being dismantled, dismantled already. Work starts on more tomorrow. On well, Newsnight starting now over on BBC Two, but from the 10 o'clock news, good night. smell it, you couldn't see it, you wouldn't know anything had happened. But how real is the terrorist threat from biological weapons? It's not difficult for committed and knowledgeable people. Panorama, Sunday at 10.15 on BBC One. Hello there, good evening. Some unsettled weather for us for the time being, but things are set to change for the weekend. It does look as though high pressure will move in. That'll calm things down quite a lot, but it does mean that we could see a little bit of frost in parts of the north, so something uh, of quite a change for the weekend. For the time being, though, as I said, pretty active weather. We've got a cold front coming in to the west during tomorrow that'll bring some heavy rain, and the winds are really going to pick up quite a lot as well as that low creeps in. A strengthening southerly wind, in fact, touching gale force around the western fringes during tonight, and then many western areas is having quite a windy day tomorrow, possibly severe gales in the north as that low creeps by close to northern Scotland. Now, as well as the winds picking up, the rain's going to move in as well. Cloud already starting to stream into some western areas, and that'll eventually bring a little bit of drizzle to some western fringes of England and Wales. But I think the most persistent rain will be affecting parts of Ireland and also move up into western Scotland. Further east, it'll stay largely dry, with temperatures down to around 7 or 8 in parts of eastern England. Now tomorrow, it's looking quite good for some areas, especially, say, the south east and east Anglia. Quite a bit of cloud at times, but some sunshine. Elsewhere, though, that frontal rain moving in, some heavy rain developing across Scotland and Northern Ireland. That'll gradually sink south through the day to affect many parts of northern and western England and Wales. Behind it, though, sunshine and squally showers. Now, if you're out tomorrow, you'll notice it. It's going to be quite warm out there, warmer than today. 18 Celsius in the east, 64 Fahrenheit, and even pretty mild in the west at around 15 or 16 degrees. Now, by the time we get to Friday, that front will have arrived in the south, and it does look as though it'll be fairly potent with some heavy bursts of rain running along it. It could give an inch or more of rain in some areas, and that could well add to the present flood problem. So, obviously, we're keeping an eye on that. And if you're concerned, you can ring the floodline number 0845 988 1188. Obviously, something to watch for Friday. Some heavy rain in the south, further north, sunshine and frequent blustery showers. Now some changes for the weekend. High pressure starts to build, so apart from a few showers in northeast Scotland and maybe the odd shower in the south, many of us will be settling down quite nicely with some sunshine. Temperatures creeping up to around 14 to 16 degrees, not quite so warm. And in fact, by the time we get to Saturday night, we'll actually start to see the cloud clearing in the north with some frost, so a chilly start to Sunday, but lots of sunshine around. It looks very pleasant. Daytime temperatures on the low side, but it looks as though many of us will have some fine weather, but a hint that the front could well return to more southern areas to give more persistent rain. That's it for me. Good evening. Now on BBC One, just before Band of Brothers, here are tonight's lottery results. In the National Lottery draw, the winning numbers are confirmed as 8, 38, 39, 40, 43 and 44. The bonus is number 3. Early indications show that there are two jackpot winners tonight, each collecting an estimated £1.9 million. To the lottery extra draw, and the winning numbers here are 16, 18, 32, 41, 48 and 49. Initial reports show that there are no winners tonight, which means the jackpot for the next draw has grown to an estimated £11.7 million. William, the student prince. As he starts his first year at university, just what is going on behind closed doors? This autumn on BBC One, a secretly filmed documentary series showing private moments in the Prince's life has been replaced in the schedules by a quiz show about the news. Evening. Sorry about that. Have I got news for you? Friday at nine, make it part of your Friday night on BBC One. Staying in is the new going out. Award-winning drama on BBC One, meet the Boston lawyers at the practice at 11.30. First violent scenes and strong language in Band of Brothers. Go, go, go! Where everybody go? I have no idea! Agency. I think so. I can't. 
cancer, you think? You're hitting that ditch because you think there's still hope. The only hope you have is to accept the fact that you're already dead. Come on! You're gonna get me killed, Lieutenant! Hey, buddy, you okay? Looks like you fellas had a heck of a fight.